Enjoying the great outdoors can be a year-round experience, ideally no matter where you live. Now there's a growing mission to bring the benefits of forest into surprisingly small spaces. Bradley Blackburn is in Summit, New Jersey with one of the more tiny forest movements. Something's growing in Summit, New Jersey. This tiny forest is an entire ecosystem squeezed in a space the size of a suburban yard. How many different plants are in here? So over 50 species. Donna Goggin Patel says this quarter acre forest has thrived since it was first planted three years ago. We had hundreds of people who volunteered time here helping to prepare the ground for the planting, actually doing the planting, and then watering and weeding the first several years. Summit signed on to a global movement to put small forests in unused urban spaces. This one growing in Berkeley, California. Another now taking root in Iowa. Proponents say the tiny forests absorb rainwater, capture carbon, and create habitat for wildlife. They're also known as Miyawaki forests, named for the Japanese botanist who created a planting technique to help them grow up to 10 times faster. Putting them densely planted helps them to compete for resources and grow quicker. In Summit, the tall fence keeps hungry deer out. Plants are native to this area. We have white turtle head. And placed intentionally to mature together in the coming decades. Should be fully developed in 20 to 30 years. I call Bubby. But Mary Tereshuk and her dog Punk are enjoying the benefits now. The air almost seems purer when you're breathing it in here because you're just surrounded um, by all these beautiful trees. A peaceful way to enjoy nature and help the earth in a new small spot. Bradley Blackburn, CBS News, Summit, New Jersey. And Summit says it cost about $13,000 to plant the forest, and right now it's maintained with the help of volunteers. But over time, it should become self-sustaining, just like a larger forest.